So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you? Barabbas or Jesus who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much over him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the people to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus who is called the Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. And he said, Why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather than that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this righteous man's blood. See to it yourself. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him, and placing a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat upon him, and took the reed, and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe, and put his own clothes on him, and led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man of Syria, Simon by name, this man, they compelled to carry his cross, and when they came to a place called Bogota, which means the place of the skull, they offered him wine to drink mingled with gold. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it, and when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And over his head they put the, the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. And those who passed by, and those who passed by, derided him, wagging their heads and saying, "You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself! If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross." So also the chief priests, with the scribes and elders, mocked him, saying, "He saved others; he cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him." He trusts in God, let God deliver him now. If he desires him, for he said, I am the Son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama shabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is calling Elijah. And, on, and one of, the, of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice, and gave up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook, and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised, and coming out of the tombs, after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly, this was the Son of God. There were also many women there, looking on from afar, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among whom where Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee.
Diante de feijão, na sangue, na época de luta, na hora de caminhar, 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 na hora de لأن لك الملك والقدرة والمجد أيها الأب والابن والروح القدس الآن وكل أوان وإلى ذهب الدائرين. آمين. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for our sakes. For him did Mary behold on the tree and said, Even though thou hast endured crucifixion willingly, thou art still my son and my God. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of
unto my cause. Judge me, O Lord, according to thy righteousness. O Lord, my God, let them not rejoice against me. Let them not say in their hearts, for a run was on our soul. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and confounded together and rejoice at my woes. Let them be clothed with shame and confusion and speak boastful words against me. Let them rejoice and be glad who desire the righteousness of my cause. And let them that desire the peace of thy servants say continually, The Lord be magnified, and my tongue shall treat of thy righteousness, and of thy praise all the day long. O God, my praise do not pass over in silence, but from the mouth of the sinner and the mouth of the deceitful man are opening against me. They have spoken against me with a deceitful tongue, and with words of hatred have they encompassed me. And they have warred against me without cause. In return for my love, they have falsely accused me. But as for me, I gave myself to prayer, and they repaid me evil for good, and hated and hatred for my love. Set thou a sinner over him, and let the devil stand at his right hand, when he is judged, let him go forth and them. And let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let his bishop let another take. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children be back once by the dwelling place, and let them beg. Let them be cast out from their ruined dwelling. Let his prayers search out all his substance, and strangers plunder all his labor. Let there be prayer no helper, nor anyone to pity his fatherless children. Let his children be given over to utter destruction, and a single generation of his name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continue, and let them, the memory of them perish in the earth. Because he remembered not to show mercy, he had persecuted a man that was poor and a beggar, and one broken in heart that he might slay him. And he loved cursing and shall come upon him. And he delighted not in blessing, and shall be far from him. And he put on curses like a garment, and went into his water, and his vows, and like oil in his bones. Let it be for him like a garment wherewith he is clothed, and like a girdle wherewith continually he is burdened. This is the dealing of the Lord with them that slander me, and with them that speak evil things against my soul. But thou, O Lord, O Lord, deal thou with me for thy name's sake. For thy mercy is good, deliver me, for a poor man am I, I am a pauper, and my heart is troubled within me. Like a shadow when it declines, am I taken away, I am given off as the locusts. My knees are grown weak through fast, and my flesh is changed to the want of oil, and I am become a reproach unto them. They saw me wag their head. Help me, Lord my God, and save me according to thy mercy. Let them know that this is my hand, and that thou, O Lord, hast wrought it. They will curse, and thou wilt bless, and let them that write up against me be put to shame. But thy servant shall be glad. Let them that sins be clothed with confusion, and let them that be covered with shame as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord my mouth, and in the midst, in the midst of many will I praise him. For he hath stood at the right hand of the poor, who saved my soul from that of mercy. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, thou hast conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast told truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressions thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from both guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou had desired a sacrifice, I had given it. With full burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall I offer bows upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
Very I am ready to be scourged, O Lord, rebuke me not in my wrath. Wisdom. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. Let us attend. These things the Lord does say, the Lord God hath given me the tongue of those who are taught, that I may know how to sustain with a word with a word of him that is rare. Morning by morning he wakens, he wakens my ear to hear as those who are taught. The Lord God hath opened my ear, and I was not rebellious, I turned not backward. I gave my back to the spitters, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the, the bread. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. But the Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who, who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Behold, all of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the voice of, light of his servant? Who walks in darkness and has no light, yet trusts in the name of the Lord and loves upon his God? Behold, all ye who kindle a fire and set brands alight. Walk by the light of your fire, by the brands which you have kindled. This shall you have from my hand. You shall lie down in torment. Wisdom. A reading is from the epistle of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Why one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for a good man one will dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were not yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we are now justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. He speak to me in the readers. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, then let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy seed. وكان في الساعة الثالثة صلى الله وكان عوان عدته مكتوبا 
الملك اليهود وصلب معه نصفين واحدا عن يمينه واخر عن يساره فتم الكتاب القائم واحصي مع اثما وكان المجتازون يجدفون عليه وهم وهم يهجون رؤوسهم قائلين اما هي ناقض الهيكل وبانيه في ثلاثه ايام خلص نفسك وانزل عن الصليب وكذلك رؤساء الكهنه وهم مستهزئون فيما بينهم مع الكتبه قالوا خلص اخرين واما نفسه فما يقدر ان يخلصها لينزل الان المسيح ملك اسرائيل عن الصليب لنا ولؤمن واللذان صلبا معه كانا يعيرانه ولما كانت الساعة السادسة كانت ظلمة على الأرض كلها إلى الساعة التاسعة وفي الساعة التاسعة طرق يسوع بصوت عظيم قائلا إلوي إلوي لما شبقتني الذي تفسيره إلهي إلهي لماذا تركتني فقام فقال قوم من الحاضرين لما سمعوا هو ذا ينادي إليا فرقد واحد وملأ إسفنجنة إسفنجنة اسفنجة خلا وجعلها على قصبة وسقاه قائلا اتركوا لنرى هل ياتي الي لينزله فصرخ يسوع بصوت عظيم واسلم الروح وانشق حجاب الهيكل الى اثنين ومن فوق الى اسفل ولما راى قائد المئه الواقف مقابله انه صرخ هكذا واسلم الروح قال حقا كان هذا الانسان ابن الله وكانت ايضا نساء ينظرن من بعيد بينهن مريم المجدليه ومريم ام يعقوب الصغير ويوسي وسالوما اللواتي ايضا تبعنه وخدمنه حين كان في الجليل واخر كثيرات اللواتي صعدنا معه الى اورشليم. يسوع المسيح والروح القدس 
اللهوت الواحد هو القوة الواحدة ارحمني أنا صادق بأحكام تعلم بها خلصني أنا عبدك الغير المستحق فإنك مبارك إلى دهر الداهرين
But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. It was now about the, the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. But then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he gave up the spirit. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he glorified God and said, Certainly this was a righteous man, and all the multitudes of assembled who assembled to see the light to, to see the sight when they saw what had taken place returned home beating their breasts and all his acquaintances and the women who had fallen him from Galilee stood at a distance and saw these things. Glory to thy long suffering, O Lord. This is that compassion and apprehend us, O Lord, we are greatly in poverty, and help us, O God, our Savior, for thy name's sake. Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for thy name's sake. Holy Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, to have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, to have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, to have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. All glory to you, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, have mercy on our enemies for thy name's sake. But have mercy, but have mercy, but have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For well, thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for our sakes. For him did bear behold on the tree, and he said, even though thou hast endured crucifixion with me, thou art still my son and my God. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have m
together with thine holy begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, for the waters are coming unto my soul. I have stuck fast in the mire of the deep, and there is no standing. I am come into the deep of the sea, and the tempest has overwhelmed me. I am grown weary of wine, and so I come forth. From my hope to my God, my eyes have fast failed me. They that hate me without cause are multiplied. More than the hairs on my head, my enemies are grown strong, and they that persecute me unjustly. Then do I restore that which I took not away, O God. Thou knowest my foolishness, my transgressions are not hid from me. Let not them that wait on thee be ashamed of my sake, O Lord, thou Lord of hosts. Nor let them that seek after thee be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel. Because of thy sake I have borne the throat. Shame has covered my face, and I have become a stranger of my God, and an alien of the sons of my mother. For the zeal of thy house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen on me. Yea, with fasting I covered my soul, and it was turned into reproach to me. And I made sackcloth in my clothing, and became a proverb to them. And they prayed to me unto me, they that sit in the gate. And they made a song about me, that they drink, they that drink wine. But as for me, with my prayer, I cry unto thee, O Lord, it is time for thy good mercy, for thy good pleasure, O God, and the most thy mercy, hearken unto me. In the truth thy salvation, save me from the mind that I may, that I be not stuck there. Let me deliver from them that hate me, and from the dead beasts of the water. Let not the tempest of water overwhelm me, nor let the beast swallow me up. Nor let the pit shut its mouth upon me. Hearken unto me, O Lord, for thy mercy is good. According to the most of thy compassion look upon me. Turn out thy comments away from thy servant. For I have put it quickly hearken unto me. Attend unto my soul and deliver it. Because of my enemies rest me. For thou knowest my reproach, my shame, my humiliation. Before thee are all that afflict me, my soul hath awaited of reproach and misery. Thy waited for one that would grieve with me, but there was no one. And for them that would come to me, but I found none. And they gave me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Whether table before there be a snare, for a, re for a recompense, and for a son of love, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see. And their backs do thou continually bow down. Pour out upon them thy wrath, and let the fury of thy wrath take hold upon them. Let their habitation be made desolate, and in their tents let there be none to dwell. For they persecuted him whom thou hast smitten, smitten, and to the pain of my wounds have they added. Add iniquity to their iniquity, and let them not enter into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the books of the living, and with the righteous let them not be written. For in sorrow I may thy salvation, O God, be quick to help me. I will praise the name of my God with an oath. I will magnify him with a praise. And this shall please God more than a young calf that hath born in the womb. Let beggars behold it, and be glad. See after God, and your soul shall live. For the Lord hearkened unto the poor, and hath not despised them that are fed and for his sake. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the sea and the creeping things therein. For God will save Zion, and the cities of Judea shall be builded, and they shall dwell therein and inherit it. And the seed of thy servant shall possess it, and they that love thy name shall dwell therein. O God, be attentive unto helping me, O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be shamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to shame that desire evils against me. Let them be turned back straightway in shame that say unto me, Well done, well done. Let them be glad and rejoice in thee all the sake after thee, O God. And let them that love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But as for me, I am poor and needy. O God, come unto my aid. My helper and my deliverer art thou. O Lord, make no long period. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul I serve, unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle, and quenched in mercy, and to all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and send unto the voice my supplication. In thee, in thee, in the day of my affliction, I cry to thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like thee unto among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any like thou unto thou of thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name, for thou art great and thou workest wonders. Thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy ways, and will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart. I will glorify thy name forever, for great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost pain. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my guard, are compassionate, merciful, long suffering, and quenched in mercy, and true. And look upon me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign of the good, and let them that hate me behold, and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast helped in the time. 
comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God. The elation, the elation, the elation.
Jeremiah. The Lord made it known to me, and I knew. Then thou didst show me their evil deed. But I was like a gentle lamb led to the slaughter. I did not know it was against me they devised schemes, saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, that it may be remembered no more. But, O Lord of hosts, who judge righteously, who tries the heart and the mind, let me see that vengeance upon them. For to thee have I committed my cause. Therefore, says the Lord, concerning the men of Anath, An who seek your life, and say, Do not prophesy in the name of the Lord, or you will die by our hand. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. And none of them shall be left. I will bring evil upon the men of Anath, the year of their punishment. Rise, sir, thou, O Lord, when I have complained to thee. Yet I will plead my case before thee. Why do the way of the wicked prosper? Why do all who are treacherous strive? Thou plantest them, and they take root. They grow and bring forth fruit. Thou art near in their mouth and far from their heart. But thou, Lord, knowest me, thou seest me, and triest me of my mind toward thee. Fold them out like a sheep for the slaughter, and set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the land mourn in the grass of every field living? For the brightness and wickedness of those who dwell in it, the beasts and the birds are swept away, because men said, He will not see our latter end. If you have raced with men on foot, and they have wearied you, how will you compete with horses? And if in a safe land you fall down, how will you do in the jungle of Jordan? Is my heritage to me like a speckled bird of prey? Are the birds of prey against her round about? Go assemble all the wild beasts, bring them to devour. Many shepherds have destroyed my vineyard. They have trampled down my portion. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it a desolation, desolate and mourn to me. Thus says the Lord, concerning all my evil neighbors to touch the heritage which I have given my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them up from their lands, and I will pluck up the house of Judah from among them. And after I have plucked them up, I will again have compassion on them, and I will bring them again, each to his heritage and each to his land. With the Therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way which he opened for us through the curtain, that is through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. For the heart sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as we see the day drawing near. For if we sin deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin, but a fearful prospect of judgment, and a fury of fire which we will consume the adversary. A man who has violated the law of Moses dies without mercy at the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by the man who has spread the Son of God and profaned the blood of the covenant by which he was sacrificed? An outraged spirit of grace. For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Peace be to thee, the readers. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom and tender of the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all and to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, when they had crucified Jesus, the soldiers took his garments and made for parts one for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was without seam, woven from top to bottom, so they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture. They parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did this. But standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus said, saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. 
a bowl full of vinegar stood there. So they put a sponge full of the vinegar on hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. ثم إذ كان استعداد فليك إلا تقف الأجساد وعلى الصليب في السبت لأن يوم ذلك السبت كان عظيما سأل اليهود بالغطس أن تكسر سيقانهم ويرفعوا فأتى العسكر وكسر ساقي الأول والآخر المصلوب معه وأما يسوع فلما جاءوا إليه فلم يكسر ساقي لأنهم رأوه قد مات لكن واحدا من العسكر طعم جنبه بحربة وللغطه خرج دم وماء والذي عاين شهد وشهادته حق وهو يعلم انه يقول الحق لتؤمن انتم لان هذا كان ليتم الكتاب القائل عظم لا يكسر منه وايضا يقول كتاب لأن نرفع عيوننا ونظر إلى عيوب السماء 
لاجل اننا تركنا طريق عدلك وسلكنا في اهوال قلوبنا لكننا نبتهل الى صلاحك الذي لا يوصف تشفق علينا يا رب بحسب كثره رحمتك وخلصنا من اجل اسمك القدوس لان ايامنا قد فنيت الباطل انقذنا من يد المقاوم واترك لنا خطايانا وامت اهوائنا الجسديه حتى اذا نزعنا الانسان العتيق نلبس الجديد ونحيا لك ايها السيد المحسن وهكذا اذ نتبع اوامرك نصل الى الراحه الابديه حيث شفنا جميع الفرحين لانك انت السرور الحقيقي والابتهاج للذين يحبونك ايها المسيح الهنا ولك نرسل المجد مع ابيك الذي لا بداءه له وروحك الكل القدس الصالح والصانع الحياه الان وكل اوان ولده الدابرين Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace 
sufficient as to it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is mine unto them that are of contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many, many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them up out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, they that hate the righteous shall be too long. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will be too long that hold him. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our full glory to thee. May he who endured him, suffering, the life giving cross, and voluntary burial in the flesh, on behalf of us and for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his holy, immaculate, and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable God as far as of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs of our venerable and God bearing fathers, of St. George, the trophy bearer, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Good morning to all of you. Thank you for joining us, who joined us today in person and all who joined us for the live streams. We just concluded the uh, uh, royal hours. And I, as I spoke last night, uh, this service is offered three times a year. Uh, the day before Christmas, the day before Theophany, and the day before the Lamentation or the Burial of Christ. And why is it um, offered only on these uh, three uh, occasions? It is because, as the name says, royal hours, the Psalms uh, uh, read during this uh, service, which they are the same psalm for all these three feasts, um, they mention the Lord, or God, or the Messiah as being the King. Um, so all those psalms that we read, the multiple psalms that we read in each hour, they, they are basically toward, uh, they lean toward um, uh, the kingship of the Messiah. Uh, and it's a reminder for us that in those three events, the nativity of Christ, the condescension of God, the uh, humility of God being um, going from God to taking the form of a man, this humbling experience, the theophany being uh, also getting under the hand of, of St. John the Baptist to be baptized, which means Christ submitting himself to the law that he created, that he gave. And also today, because of his burial, also another humbling way to remind us that true kingship is being humbled and righteous and loving and sacrificial. Um, um, tonight, we will, you know, looking forward to the lamentation service, but it's actually, you will see that the priest and the clergy will be fully vested, and the whole service will be done actually right outside here, and it's actually a, like a matins, actually not any matin service, not any orthro service, it's a festival orthro. You know, I, I know no one wants to come to somebody's burial, and it's not usually a very happy occasion, and it's not like, you know, we're coming here to like, you know, be happy in a way, and we're going to celebrate, yay, yeah, Christ is being buried, but there's this um, uh, hope in it that, yes, he, he died for us to be saved. He died to go to hell and beat it and win over it, and that's why it is that kind of a festival. We will have the lights on. Actually, there are a couple of traditions when it comes to what the priest and the clergy should wear. Some keep wearing the purple because it still has a royal it's, it's never black. You would never see, uh, um, nowadays, lately, for whatever reason, you'll see some priests wearing black. But usually you don't call for black because it's not just sadness. It's not just, there's always hope uh, and victory over the death of Christ. So either purple or even they wear white and gold. Uh, because like I said, it's very festival. Um, we will take a couple minutes break uh, just for logistics things that we have to do before we prepare for the um, uh, Vesper service. So, like maybe five minutes, five to ten minutes, and then we'll uh, resume this service. Okay.
I'm going to see if I can pause it.